Hi guys and ladies, I found a fish recipe that looks almost too easy to be true, yet it sounds delicious. Fish in lemon butter sauce. So I went to the store and I picked up all the ingredients, except one. <laughs> you know what it is, it's the fish. Let's see if we can haul some up from the deep. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start out with this lure. It's called a Z-Man TRD. I've had pretty good luck with it. We'll try for bass, but we might even get a bluegill or a crappie. This thing catches everything. Well, daylight is short these days, so let's get in the boat and start fishing for whatever bites. All right, an eater. It's cold, drizzly, miserable out here. It's been raining for days, and we've got flood conditions, but I caught one, an eater. See, under 12 inches, we should be removing these to cull. That's best for the lake and the rest of the bass. I can't believe it. The conditions are miserable, but the fish are biting. All right, don't stay in the house and on the couch. Get out and fish, it doesn't matter. Miserable weather is good fishing. Oh, I think I have one. Oh, it's so little, but I'm so in need of fish for my recipe. <laughs> oh, it's just too, too small. I have to throw them back. Not worth filleting. I've been out here for hours and it's cold and miserable. Look at the crab apples on that tree. I wonder if they're any good. Wormy. Mmm, that's really good. They're sweet. This beats fishing. Mmm, the water is just too muddy here. Let's go up to Little Lake, catch a big one. The little pond up on the hill where the water's clear, maybe we could catch a fish there. Well, I haven't had any luck in Little Lake, catch a big one, and all I have are these three fish. But that's plenty because I have more in the freezer. So let's get back in the house, fillet these guys, and tomorrow it's fish in lemon butter sauce. Here it is tomorrow. We were able to catch only a few little bass in miserable weather. Still, they gave us over, look, a half pound of these nice fillets. Plus, I defrosted more bass and bluegill to give us over a pound. And I'm really anxious to see how this 
fish in lemon butter sauce turns out, but first, let's see if we can make an easy side to go with it. Look what I found at my neighborhood grocery store. Already riced cauliflower, and it's fresh. It's not even frozen. This is great. I'm pouring in just enough olive oil into this big skillet to cover the bottom. Lucky what I have here, onions, and I finely chopped them myself. I'm going to let these cook away for like 8 to 10 minutes. Our onions are all brown on the edges. And look, these are 12 ounce bags. I'm putting both of them in. You want to stir this a lot and well. Get it all coated with the oil and mix in those onions. And here's a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons of salt. I've been cooking and stirring the cauliflower now for seven minutes. I think it's where I want it. It's kind of soft, not too soft, nice. Now I'm going to turn the heat down. Look at this lemon I have. It's a half a lemon. It's the size of an orange. Let's pour some of this juice in there and stir some more. I didn't get that lemon from Walmart. You know that. While it's cooling down, the last thing I'm going to do is add about, I don't know, three or four tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. See how easy this is? Even a novice can make this. Let's uh, bowl it up. Let me have a little. Oh, it's cooked perfectly. The right texture. The citrus is going on in there. Yes, the lemon and the onions are sweet. I taste that. And the red, well, it's, it's just like rice. It's sort of like fried rice. Oh, this is so good. Oniony cauliflower rice. Try this. It's onto the fish. And here I have a stick of unsalted butter. I chopped it up. I don't know why unsalted, because at the end the recipe says to add salt, but I checked with a famous food critic and she said better to follow the recipe. Now we're going to melt this, and not only that, we're going to brown it. You have to watch this like a hawk, otherwise it'll burn. You don't want that. I know a guy who burned his... What an idiot. Oh, look, it's it's getting there. That golden brown. That's it, take it off. Off the heat. Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna pour it in a bowl and I'm gonna keep it in a warm oven so it stays melted. There's the other half of that lemon. Let's get this in here. I'm putting about an eighth teaspoon of salt in here. About the same amount of fresh ground pepper. I'm supposed to taste this for seasoning. Oh, buttery, lemony, and the seasoning is perfect. This is it, an eighth teaspoon. I'm gonna keep it warm in the oven now. Here I've got our fish fillets and I'm going to sprinkle these with a little salt and pepper. I guess both sides. Here I've got some almond flour and I'm supposed to sprinkle it on and then rub it in. And I'm going to do that to both sides. You know, the original recipe calls for regular flour, but we do low carb here. I'm going to transfer this to a holding plate. It's back to my trusty skillet. I've got about six tablespoons of olive oil. I only want to coat the bottom. And I'm going to turn the heat up pretty high. I got it on about 360, I don't know. Well, let's go, here goes everything. One and a half minutes on each side, that's all. Time to flip. They're about right, I'm getting them off, and then I'm going to pour our sauce over them. This is not in the recipe, but I'm hitting it up with a little Mrs. Dash salt-free lemon pepper. So good. I'm drizzling our butter sauce over the top. Oh, it smells good. It looks good. We'll add some more parsley. I put our fish in the oven to keep warm just for a couple of minutes because you know what? The famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, will be arriving here any minute for dinner and I'm so happy. Uh, 
You already know, though, that we've been seeing each other for decades, but she doesn't seem interested in marrying me. It's time I decided to make a move, you know, to revolt. If I don't, I'll forever remain a sad bachelor. It's my honor to welcome tonight the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lou Lou Cheeks, and thank you so much for uh, supping with me at my uh, doddering dollar double wide. And you had a chance to devour my oniony counterfeit rice and my fish with lemon butter sauce. So what did you think of them? They were both delicious. And I must say, you know, the fish was tasty and that butter sauce was beyond belief. You know, butter it's is really one of my good. favorite food groups along with bacon <laughs> that was, and, uh, and cheese. Yeah. But it was, it was very good. I like those Excellent. things. Uh, yes. But the butter was especially mm -hmm. nice. Very nice. They, and it really helped both of the... The, the menu the items and enhance the flavor of both of them Thank quite you. well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Lulu, I have to be frank with you. I'm tired of my bachelor life, and it's time you knew it. I'm turning things around. I'm revolting. Oh, no. Not all the time. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs>